Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel, thank you very much for joining me in today's Valheim video. So, I'm going to be talking a bit, a little bit about bridges. And the reason why is because a lot of people are quite fearful of the weathering in this game. The reason why is because it exists. If you leave your stuff out in the wild and it rains, it will get affected. Like, it'll start warping a little bit, it'll look a little bit off colour, as you can see. This comes from a video I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I've been playing this game for a while and this is still here. This structure still exists. It hasn't weathered away. And basically it comes down to why. It basically comes down to the durability in this game. And when you come down to the durability, everything will get down to 50%. Even like foundations, even floorboards so as you can see all of these foundations all of this stuff is 50 percent and it hasn't been hit anymore yeah the only reason why it would be hit anymore if it was damaged anymore is because one of those little smegs over there decided to come over and slap it one but at the end of the day as you can see foundation wise these are all still 100 percent now these have been here for the same amount of time and these are still okay and i think it's just because there's stuff above them um, I th I'm, that's what I'm putting it down to. Ladders down to 50%. The top foundation is all 50%. But I haven't repaired any of this. So it sort of goes to show that some of the stuff that you leave under all the weathered stuff actually does survive. For so I don't, I don't understand this why. Because this was built at the same time as all of this stuff. And it's still at 50%. Now you're probably wondering why I'm waffling on about this and why it's a big thing. The reason why it's a big thing is because... If that's 50% and that is literally still standing to this day, like I said, it's, it's been a couple of weeks since I did that video. This surely means that if I was to build in the water, then surely my foundation stuff shouldn't get hit. The reason why this interested me so much is because within my gameplay, within the places that I ever went, I never came across any major bridges. Where I lived, there was no major bridges. There was no major bridges wherever I went. Everything was literally one massive piece of ground. I never had to build a bridge. I mean, the only time I needed a bridge really was to get across there, but I swam it. And I just kept going. But at the end of the day, I never had to really bother with a bridge. I just kept going through the land because all I did was explore. I spent a long time, if you haven't seen it, I've, walked, I've spent a long time running around this place. The only time I ever came across a piece of water that I needed to get to a bridge was this part here. Whilst I was exploring, this was literally the only river I came across. And it didn't even phase me. It was like, ah, it's a river. I'll swim it. It's fine. I can see the other side. I never once figured, hey, maybe I should go and build a bridge there. And that's the reason why I've never done a bridge video. So this got me thinking. Because of the amount of time I've spent over here on my island why would I need a bridge and so I sort of built this because I needed to build a bridge to protect me from things like boars or graylings or anything that gets spawned here when I get like a mob attack on me basically so I built the bridge but I also put a load of spikes in front of it which they do hurt when I run in around into things what are you doing let's carry on and I'll keep waffling right so the reason why this got me interested was because I put a roof on everything I put a roof on everything because I don't want the durability to lose. If I was to get hit, then that building falls to pieces and I lose whatever I've built. And so I've been really paranoid in this game. Like, I need to put a roof on everything because if I don't put a roof on it, it's going to die. So I ran an experiment. The reason why I ran this experiment... You've been humping that dirt for some time. The reason why I ran this experiment was because I wanted to see what the what seawater did to um, a staff. And this is a staff of core wood. As you can see, the durability is still pretty damn good. So then I built this. And the reason why I built this was because, again, I wanted to test core wood. I wanted to see how strong this was. This goes up against the elements the whole time. It gets rained on when the sea gets high. That's why this up here is sort of withered a little bit because the sea got high. It rained. And as you can see, core wood's really supportive. But... It has never gone below 50%. Not even, my, not even my chairs have gone below 50%. Not even this stake has gone into 50%. And it's like, maybe this is the same. When you build a bridge in water, the durability will only go down to 50%. So that's 
So that was like, hey, this is a big thing. I only, I, as said, I've never built a bridge. I've never needed to build a bridge. I don't even look, I didn't even look up guides on how to build bridges because I never needed them. Then I started building them and I was like, this is actually starting to work. Keeping the durability on this game, you're never going to go below 50% unless you, it gets attacked by a boar or a grayling or a troll. You know, I mean, with a troll, it's pretty much decimation in one go. But what I'm getting at is that the durability of a stake of wood doesn't go below 50%. I'm going to pretend there's a bit of land out there. And the reason why I'm going to pretend is because, number one, I cannot be bothered to run all the way down to this one piece of land that has a bridge, well, that needs a bridge. This is the literal only one piece of land I have that needs a bridge. Everywhere else, as said, I've ever been, never needed a bridge. In any of the places I ever explored, I never needed one. So, why do I need one now? The reason why I need one now is because I've never done a guide to bridges. Ever. I've never even looked at a guide for bridges. So, today... I'm going to build some bridges. So I'm going to use my path here as a stand and we're going to like walk our way out. We're just going to see if like we can actually do this. So this is me doing it live for you guys because, well, that's the joys of this game, isn't it? So the first one I want to try is I want to sort of mess around with wood paneling. Obviously, I need like I need to see my wood panel. Now, most people spend a lot of their time doing this and, you know, obviously you're going to get blocked and then you've got to spin your camera, which sucks, you know, trying to like clip this on or like trying to move things around or you have to stand in the water so you can clip on the edge. It takes a lot of time and it over time you just like, can I be bothered with this? Well, no. Eureka. All right. Okay. I think we've got, I think we found a way. So, I mean, we could probably do this with planks as well. Give me, where's a the plank? There's a plank. Um, so we're stable there. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, okay, cool. Let's try again, shall we? So uh, we're going to go halfway. And then we're going out. And we'll go halfway. And then we'll go out. And then we'll go halfway. And then we'll go out. Okay. So, so far, green, 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 amber. It's just, all right, so lighter green, dark green, support. Okay, cool. So we need to get, we, let's see if this works again. So we're going to go halfway out with a plank. A jump and land. And he sticks the landing. It's all good. And then I need that one as a key. So I think we'll that there, is it? Oops. And that's on the floor. That's pretty damn good. So I could get I could I wonder how far I could build with this. Give me a sec, we're gonna see how far we can go. Right. Probably until I can't reach the floor anymore. I mean, that's that we're on the floor again. I, I'm, I'm going to count that as a win. That's a freaking long bridge. So that would be cool as a bridge. And if you double this up, I suppose you can ram this off as a cart. And I mean, support wise, I mean, those supports aren't going to disappear. Durability wise, they're 50%. They're they're, that's the whole. That's a really long bridge. So another thing that I was faffing around with was what I showed you in that pier. About a week ago, I built the lighthouse, right? So the lighthouse is built, it's done. It was about a week ago now. Um, and after I, after I stopped recording the video, I put, all the, I put in the core beams. And I was like, hey, this is, you know, this is a good idea just to make it look a bit more aesthetically pleasing and looks a bit nicer. And I was like, well, maybe I could use the core beams to build like a pier. And that's why that's how I came up with the idea of sticking that in there and just leaving it for a couple of days to see what happens. So what I did was I built this um as a as just a pier because it's stable, it's in the water, it's not too deep and my lighthouse keeper could sit here and you know look out into the waves and be happy. You know, it's, it's a pretty sight. It's all good. And that's what I was going for. 
and then I was like, but I wonder if this could actually be used as a bridge. I don't, I didn't intend this to happen. I was like, it's it's not a bad little plan because everyone knows how to clip things with like the shift button. Everyone knows how to mess around. So the people that I watch when it comes to like Valheim content, I watch um, ESO and I watch Total Eclipse. All right, they're, they're, they're the people I watch when it comes to this game. The reason why is just because I, 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 I discovered ESO like a couple of weeks ago when this game first came out. And it was like, oh my god, this guy's amazing. And uh, Total Eclipse, I've watched for ages when it came to his satisfactory work. And then he started working on Valheim and I was like, this is, you know... I watched those for like tips on how to build some of this stuff. In all fairness, it was like, how do I build a corner, right? And so um, yeah, watching those videos, I, I, maybe I could build that myself. So with this, I was building this because I wanted somewhere to, for my lighthouse keeper to sit. This is my lighthouse, and this is my lighthouse keeper's little bench. Now, obviously, like as a lighthouse keeper, you know, if you're going to see a ship coming into shore, I mean, I, okay, there's not a lot, there's not a lot of rocks here. But coming from the mainland, you want to have a light or a beacon on top of a high place so the people know which way to travel. And that's why sort of like I built this out. Now, when it came to like building a bridge, I wasn't, as I said, I've never had to build a bridge before because I've never had to. You know, I've never needed to build a bridge because of where I've always been situated and which land I went to. Literally, as like I've said before, this was my first place I lived and I didn't need a bridge. This was my f second home that I used to raft across the water. And I didn't need a bridge. All of this is land that I explored. And I didn't need a bridge. You know, I, I, I swam across here. I came up here. And then I was like, oh, okay, what's over here? And then, you know, I had to go to here anyway. But I wanted to explore this bit first before I went to Yagult. And I, so I didn't ever need a bridge. So this, for me, was just a pier. It was fine. And then I came across a video um, a couple of days ago. Uh, this is Saturday, so I, uh, probably on Thursday. I was watching this video on a build guide because I'm interested in how I, what other people are doing when it comes to their builds and how their places look. In fairness, loads of people look better than me. It's all good. But I saw a guy talking about how to build a bridge using this method. And I was like, oh, I've got something similar to that. And it was like, I looked, you know, it, it, was, the same, it was the same way structurally. Now, the reason why, I've, as said, the reason why I've never built a bridge before, never needed to. So I used this as a pier. He used it as a bridge. And this was stable. You know, this is really good. Now, if you build it this wide, when you're forwarding the cart across it, it's it's really good. If you build this the same way that we just built that, like, one plank bridge, this is a really good bridge. And um, obviously the downside is you have to use core wood because it has to be this sort of structure the whole way across. And the best the best thing that he said, I, said, I can't remember his channel's name now, which is the worst part. But he was basically saying, what because you're using this snap method, and the, the snap method he's using is literally... So the, the way that this works is, first off, you build a little box like this using core wood only, okay? Then you take your short, you take your short staff... You hold down shift and you just put it into the wood like that. All right. And then you do this several times with different size with uh, with the logs going across. Doesn't matter how many you do. That comes down to what you want it to look like. I'm just doing this as a rough idea. Then you take your core wood and you attach it to the corner. And then, when you turn this around, your stakes that you're using for your structure all clip through. And that was good. I, the reason I only went out to that far is because I could. I was standing on this bit of dirt here, and I was like, hey, I, I can line this up underneath, I'll be fine. And that's why I never really thought of using it as a bridge, I was just using it as a, as a path. And with that way, that with the, the wood that we've just done you would do the same sort of thing. So you would lay a piece of stake out further, over, like out horizontally, pick up a bit of core wood, and then clip it in. And you could do this for some time because core wood's got a little bit more length to it. And as we were clipping through the other bridge, this works really well as well. And this is something that I was, I was seeing him do this and I was like, this is like exactly how I built my pier. You know, this is my my fisherman's pier, basically. 
So this can be used as a bridge. Now I never, I never thought about using it as a. So yeah, if you, if you do click in Valheim builds, try and find the guy that's talking about bridges. All right, I'm just another person talking about bridges. Go and check out his video because his video uh, talks about this as a bridge. I'm talking about it as a bridge because I watched his video. Um, but yeah, I just built it as a pier. He built it as a bridge. Two different uses, man. You know, it's just the way I used it for just a thing for this. He used it as a way of transporting carts. Now, that's quite an interesting way to build. Building a stone bridge will take you time. And I'm not even... I mean, just building that much alone is a headache in itself. You know, and I, I like to build... In fairness, I like to build, like... Um, Almost like my life depended on like the whole OCD world. And I was like, maybe this will work, maybe it won't, but I don't know. And even just trying to put this together, it just crumbles so badly. So if you're gonna build a, if you're gonna build a stone bridge, you need to think of every possibility that's gonna come out of it. Is it going to work? That's that's normally the one big thing you have to take into consideration. Like I said, you have to use a vertical stone every single time you want to build out. Because if you don't use a vertical stone every time you build out, it will break. Every single time. See what I mean? It's just dodgy. I suppose we'd have to do this the whole way across, so uh, let's just try this again, shall we? Now, I did build a stone bridge, but it is a very short stone bridge. The reason why I built it, again, right at the beginning of this video, was because I needed somehow to get... I needed somehow how to get into my base without having to keep jumping over everything all the time. And uh, so I built this one. And even with this in mind, I built the pillars, I built the curve... I still put a wooden foundation, a wooden plank under this to make it look like it had a bit more stability and keep it actually up. You have to put the pillars in because stone is such a heavy material. It's actually probably not the best material to build bridges with. Uh, personally, I would say that the, the core wood bridge would probably be your best bet. And core wood is easy to get to. If you haven't seen my like guide on um, the meadows or even the plains, Core wood comes from pine trees and silver birch. So these are pine trees. Alright? This is a pine tree. If you chop down a pine tree, you'll get core wood out of it. And that's basically one of those things you definitely need. So core wood is... I would say core wood would be the best thing that you can use to build a bridge with. The footbridge that we built over here... I would say this is a close second for like new people. When you're, build, when you're building a bridge to start with and you want to make it easy, I would put this down as probably one of the best ideas in the game. Like when you're first starting out, every third piece of wood, stick a support in. Look how long that is in comparison. You know, that's, that's a bloody long bridge. I would say as a new person, when you're first playing this game, that is probably the best way to build a bridge. And... Like I said, I've never had to build a bridge, so this was like a new build for me. <laughs> but it's um, yeah, this, this is this was a fun, this was a funky little idea. It's a relatively decent design, relatively easy to make. Have at it, basically. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else I want to do on this channel. Just quickly, guys, if you do want any other topics like you know, done, hit me down in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts or even your questions about what else could be done for this game to help you, the viewer, the player, the friend. So thank you very much for joining me. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.